Hey guys, this is Sam, and alongside iOS 10.1, tvOS 10.0.1, and even watchOS 3.1, we also saw an upgrade for the Mac today, bringing it up to version 12, sorry, 10.12. Point one, lots of ones in all of the public firmware releases today, but I wanted to talk a bit about what changed in this update. Just because I never really talk about the Mac, and I feel like I neglect that section of the Apple ecosystem just a little bit, so let's talk about what changed in today's update. So the Mac OS Sierra 10.12.1 update improves the stability, compatibility, and security of your Mac, and of course, it is recommended for all users. This update adds an automatic smart album for photos taken with the depth of field effect with the iPhone 7 Plus. If you want to learn more about that, I'll leave my video on iOS 10.1 here in the top right hand corner of the screen. It improves the compatibility of Microsoft Office when using iCloud Desktop and Documents. Fixes an issue that may prevent mail from updating when using a Microsoft Exchange account. Fixes an issue that caused text to sometimes paste incorrectly when using Universal Clipboard. Improves the reliability of auto unlock with Apple Watch. Super happy to hear that. And then also improves the security and stability in Safari. Overall, those sound like some pretty nice changes. However, the only little disclaimer I want to issue is that since I updated my iMac to macOS 10.12.1, I've been having a few issues with some third-party apps. So the Pixelmator app, it's an image editing app, crashed for me once or twice, and then Final Cut Pro, which is Apple's first-party, like, top-of-the-line video editing piece of software, crashed three or four times. I didn't lose any work in either applications, but I just wanted to throw it out there that some third-party apps don't seem to be properly optimized for this update, and I ran into a few issues. I can't speak for any other apps, but those are the two I experienced some minor issues with. So once again, nothing major. Just wanted to throw that out there that if you don't want any three or four minute annoyances along the way, you might want to wait and hold off until this rumored Final Cut Pro update comes out this Thursday when Apple's going to announce new Macs. Which, by the way, if you want to hear more about this event happening Thursday, another shameless plug. I'll leave that link in the top right hand corner of the screen. But all in all, I'm really excited. So happy to see this new MacBook Pro finally unveiled. And if you're interested in seeing more videos on future Mac software updates, feel free to drop a like down below. I've been Sam, I hope you guys are doing great, subscribe for more, and I will talk to you later.